Hey everyone, Zabby here, and we're back with another episode of our Baltimore Orioles OTP GM mode, and we're going to be doing the offseason in this one. This is going to be very interesting, and it's going to shape the future of our team for sure. I'm not going to spend crazy because I mean, we're not really going to be that much better next year. We'll be better, but I think I want to take the slow approach and maybe... Um, Maybe not go crazy in free agency. Like, I don't think we need any big name free agents, but we'll fill out some spots, make sure the team is at least, you know, usable next year because it was not at all this year. 44 and 118 is an absolute garbage record. I think I looked it up and I think it's the worst record since like the 1800s. I think Cleveland had a worse season in like the 1800s, like the late 1800s. So it's. Pretty fucking bad season. Let's just jump right in. We're going to just go until the playoffs end. I'm just going to keep an eye on what's happening here. And see who's going to win the World Series this year. Be interesting to see who wins. I'm probably going to be Houston, but we'll see. Cedric Mullins suffered a setback. That's fine. We're, uh, we're done with our season, so we don't have to worry about any injuries. We'll just let them all heal. Houston, Yankees, Dodgers, Braves. Got the Braves versus the Astros. Cedric Mullins is back. Put him back in our lineup. Braves up 2 0, 3 0. And wow. So I guess the Astros um, didn't have their camera set up. And the Braves whooped their ass. Owner goal complete. Two times achieved. First time owner goal complete. Acquire player. Most recent. Find a top prospect. All right. This is just a terrible score. Oh, uh, well. What can you do? Not much I can do. The Orioles suck. They're always going to suck. In, well, the first year, they're always going to suck. Andrew Kashner. I'm going to avoid. Uh, let's see what Peter Angelos had to say. This was disappointing season. Uh, sorry, I don't really see an upgrade in right field. You brought in Lourdes Gurriel Jr. That's exactly the type of caliber, caliber player I was looking for. 270 average. Yeah, he was good. Uh, we always need to look to the future. And with Bobby Wood Jr. looking more and more like the future face of this team, I can tell you now things are looking up. So opening into top six minor league system. Not quite there yet. I'm not sure what we're ranked in that, but we'll see. Uh, 2019 and making the playoffs in a few seasons. Deadline's not up. Next year is a new year, though. Play close to 500 ball. Improve your defensive efficiency. Increase team attendance. Have a final total balance of 17 million, build a top six minor league system. And this is just new budget. Not too worried about the budget yet. As we win, the budget will go up, so I'm not too worried. Uh, let's just go to the team home screen. I want to see this where it is. Um, where is it where it ranks your prospects? Player development? So we're ranked 18th. So not good. Not good at all. But, uh, we do have some good prospects, and I guess this doesn't have a, a new... Oh, no, it does have Brendan McKay. This doesn't have a speed prospect ranking. Current ratings. New potential ratings. Oh, okay, I see what that's doing. Never mind. I just never messed around with that before. But, yeah, um, I guess we could do some voting. Check out our salary arbitration. So Dylan Bundy wants 2.8 million. And I think I'm just going to let him go. He probably could be better with um, better defense. But that's money we don't need to spend on a player we're not going to need. Arns we don't need either. Uh, Miguel Castro. We'll keep. Keep him. He's only 24. Keep him. Uh, we don't need Perez. Uh, Mark Trumbo, we're not going to sign. Ashner, we're not going to sign. Boswick, um, we'll keep Hunter Harvey. This guy, too. Usually, I just try to keep the young guys if they have a decent amount of potential. Like the 28, 29 year olds, I don't really hold on to too much. I'll hold on to this 24 year old. Pedro Severino, I'm sorry, but you're done with us. And sure, why not? Well, there we go. That's all the players we need to bring back. Um, award voting. I don't think I'm going to vote for the awards. I think I'm just going to see what the uh, computer does. 
we'll just we'll just go we'll go up to each award see what happens great proposal from the Phillies El Franco I mean if this is cheap I could do it I mean do I I don't really need him I guess I could use him because I do want to play I do want to play Bobby Witt Jr. in the future at at short. Franco, eh, I think I'm going to hold off. I don't think that's a trade I want to do. Even though it's really cheap, I'm going to hold off. I don't want Franco. We're going to wait. I don't think we're going to make a trade. I think we're going to wait till um, free agency opens up, and then we'll see what's available, and then go from there. Hunter Harvey's back. Yankees. Oh, shit. Stanton. I don't have the money for that, though. As much as I would want Stanton, it doesn't make sense for the team. We're just going to go ahead and reject that. We're going to go to Great Glove Award and work our way up to these awards. Oh, we got a great glove. Chance Cisco got a gold glove. Oh, that's nice. He had a really good year for us. Like, I know he was doing pretty solid, but gold glove. I can, uh, and fuck with that. Um, here, let me just put back on the uh, do news from the league. That way we can see the the winners of the awards. The platinum stick, Sanchez, Smoke, El Tuve, Vlad, Lindor, Benintendi, Trout, Carlos Gonzalez, JD Martinez. Here's the other ones, Goldschmidt. Keep going on. Rookie of the year. This will be interesting. Probably going to be Vlad, I would assume. Another trade proposal. They just want to dump Stanton's contract completely, but I'm not... I just... It doesn't make any sense. And then, yeah, Vlad wins. Vlad's an animal. 338 average with 35 dingers. Okay. That's a little nuts. Manager of the year. AJ Hinch. Well, I mean... They were probably cheating. So. And then Roberts won for the Dodgers. Cy Young. Carrasco. And DeGrom. DeGrom is a fucking animal. Like, he's just insane. 1.93 ERA. That dude's just a beast in game and in real life. Um. There is some amateurs we could go after. Maybe the second baseman. But I think I'm probably just going to hold off. He's He looks okay, but I'm just going to hold off. I like the players that we've kind of acquired over the year. MVP. El Tuve. And Nolan Ar Arenado. 42 home runs for Arenado. Damn. That's a lot of home runs. We have to now. Done the awards? We are done the awards. The arbitration hearings are going to be happening. Single season records. Go to double check. Make sure. I think we're good. Go to free agency filings and we'll take a peek at who's available. Uh, Miguel Castro receives 850k. Not bad. Let's see who we got. Personal message. Let's see if there's any good international free agents. And just guys I can use just to shore up the team a little bit. I could get a catcher as a backup, but there's there's not really anyone worth signing. And now the question is, where do we want to upgrade? Um, definitely need upgrades in the outfield, in right field probably. Even though Anthony Santana did okay, and I'm gonna bring up Brendan McKay. But yeah, we're gonna get some we're gonna get some pitching and we're gonna get maybe a third base plug and maybe a shortstop plug just until our younger players are ready. What am I doing? Let's just see. Check out these top free agents. Scooter Jeanette, that could be a pretty good sign. He's only 29, so we can get him for a few years. Garrett Cole, I'd love, but he's gonna be super expensive. So let's just go into agents. Uh, we don't need Craig Kimbrell. 
Eric Cole's asking for 37 mil. That's just insanity. Um, this guy, Aino, might be a good pick. He could use um, another bullpen arm. And then wants 8 mil, so that's not too bad. He's also only 29. Let's see. If he wants really long term, like, this is something we can definitely do. We got 36 mil for free agents. So that's someone we'll keep in mind. Um, can I just create a note? I don't even like want anything. On his name to be bolded like that. Yeah. Uh, Didi Gregorius is someone we could probably play at short. I actually think that that's someone we're going to get, but he wants 19 mil. He's really good, but I don't know. It just doesn't make much sense. Dribble Cabrera. Maybe we'll bring in Donaldson. He wants 16 mil. See if he wants a long term. Oops, didn't mean to create a note. See if he wants a long term deal. He does. So that's just not going to happen. I'd rather just pay DD Gregorius. He also wants really long. Um, let's just check out the pitching then. Maybe we'll wait on the batters. Ooh. Get Strasburg. He only wants 16 million. I feel like he's better than that. This could be a very good signing. He doesn't want to play for Matheny. Of course he doesn't. Oh, that's fine. It doesn't really make too much sense with our team, but it would have been nice to, to get him. Uh, let's... Maybe we'll grab Zach Wheeler. Eh. I don't want to hand out any of these contracts. What if Madbum wants to do, like, legit two years? That's acceptable? Okay, we'll do Madbum for two years. I'm just trying to fill up some holes here because we really have bad pitching. Um, we're going to grab AJ Cole as well. He's cheap. I'm gonna, just going to give him what he wants because it's not enough money for me to actually care. And let's grab... I really want Zach Wheeler, but it's just not worth it. Yo Gonzalez is expensive. Maybe we'll grab Cole Hamels and Matt Harvey. Maybe just Cole Hamels. Matt Harvey's a head case, so. He only wants one year, 7.5. Let's do that. And that should give us three starters. Go to our pitching staff. We'll have Lucheski. Yeah, I think that'll be an okay that'll be an okay rotation. And our pen isn't terrible. It's not great. Yeah, and I might I don't really need a closer. I need a reliever if there if there's a long reliever or something like that, maybe I'll grab one of those. Will Harris is probably the perfect candidate, but he's he's old. Which is unfortunate. But are there any like decently young relievers? Rosen. Let's just grab him. He's cheap. Beat demand. Then let's look at some budget position players. So I do probably want a third base stop gap here. Um, Todd Fraser. Jung Ho Kong is crazy. Um, well, we could get Franco now. He's young, so... I'm definitely willing to give him this deal for sure. Good little budget buy there. What was the other positions I wanted to kind of... Lourdes, I want to play second. Lourdes is playing second next. So I'm not signing another second baseman. Yeah, there we got Lourdes playing second. Let's go. We'll call up... Um, where's Brendan McKay? He gonna be ready? I don't know if he'll be ready. We might need a first baseman. See if there's an old, um, an older first baseman, we can give like a one-year deal. Cause I just don't want the team to be horrible. I want to actually be able to maybe make the playoffs. Ooh, I want to grab Justin Smoke, but he wants 18 mil. But that's because he won. Yeah, he had like 27 diggers. I mean, I'd want 18 mil too. But we're gonna grab someone cheaper, maybe Carpenter. Add Adams. Wilmer Flores. 
Elmer Flores is pretty cheap. He's good defensively, too. And yeah, I'm easily going to pay that. But how much money are you sitting at? 13 mil. It's just pretty, looking pretty good. Just check out our lineups once more. We're set at catcher. Right field. Using El Diaz is going to start. Third base. We're grabbing Franco. I like the look of this team. I do. Side short. So it's like the only position, and that's where Bobby Witt Jr. is going to be playing in the future. Let's um, see the shortstops. D.D. Gregorius, obviously the best one available. Freddie Galvis could be someone we could use. Actually, Marcus Semien. Yeah, we're going to grab Marcus Semien. He's really underrated in real life. Meet demand. There we go. So there's our offers there. Cole Hamels, 7.5 for one year. Bumgarner. 21 mil over two years. Flores, 2.4 for one year. Cole Bedrosian and Franco are all minor league contracts, which will get upgraded. I'm going to play them. And then Semyon. Semyon's uh, 2.8 for one year. So let's sim forward. And we'll just go to... Ooh, I'm going to double check. Get, get everything set up for the Rule 5 draft, just so I don't forget. I've done that before. We're going to go ahead. We're going to throw... Maybe this guy can be a backup catcher or something. We gotta bring Mount Castle up. Sort by Baton. Hunter Harvey's gotta come up as well. Does it show the it doesn't show if they're eligible? Minor leagues? Okay, here we go. We'll just do this. That guy's not bad. I, fi I find the game generally doesn't generally doesn't take um, many players in the in the rule five. I just don't want anyone good to get picked up by accident, so we're just gonna quickly go through. Like he's gonna get taken. I want my really good prospects. Isn't this the center fielder we got? Is he really that bad? He's good. Our scout likes him. But he's not eligible anyways. And I don't think any of these guys. Bobby Witt Jr., damn, he's going to be so good. And yeah, so I think we'll be all right there. We don't have too many good players. So let's just skip ahead. We'll go a week. Probably get stopped. If not, whatever. Minnesota talking Strasburg. Mad Bum likes the offer. Usually I just like to sit on this, the free agent screen. Depending offers, or, well, here, we'll just go to pending offers. And we'll go next week again. Clean Hardy. No. Reject. Get out of here, Tigers. Okay. Another week. I usually just go by weak blocks. Um, I mean, if Colorado wants to overpay you, Mad Bum, whatever. I don't really need you. Philadelphia got Cole. That makes sense. I was expecting something like that to happen, but... That's two pitchers we uh, look like we're not going to be getting now, though. Oh! They got Garrett Cole, not Cole. I don't know why I thought Cole handles, but yeah, that's a hell of a contract. 28 mil. If uh, the Phillies don't do that in real life, I'll be pretty upset. And we'll just keep going. Go to next week. Hopefully we get someone signed. Actions. Yeah, Mad Bum is probably off the table. Don't think I'm going to sign him. And everyone else is still just pending. All right. Okay. Okay, let's go with ours. Very impressed. Cole Hamels wants to be an Oriole. Wilmer Flores likes it. Pedrosian likes it. Franco likes it. 
Okay, well, yeah, keep me posted, Marcus Semien, because I do want you. You will be almost the perfect player until Bobby Witt Jr. is ready to go. And trades, signings, I'll just scroll through them. Bogarts finalized a deal with the Marlins. Seven-year deal with the Marlins. I guess the Marlins are spending some money again. And we're at the Rule 5 draft. Let's just see. I'm probably not going to take anyone in the Rule 5 draft. Ben Zobrist. They signed Ben Zobrist and he's out six to seven months. That is definitely something that Shatkins would do. Definitely. All right, let's go. Unless there's like a star available, which there never is. Um, don't care about Dylan Bundy. This guy's not bad, but these aren't guys I really need. So I could take Cole Hamels, but I mean, oh wait, did we get we got Cole Hamels? I I didn't think it said we signed him. Yes, it did. Oh yeah, hopefully no one takes him now. I didn't see where did it say he signed him. All right, there. I I read over it. That sucks. No one will probably take him anyway. Hopefully. That's my bad though, for sure. Um, rule five draft. Any draft. Skip this pick now. It, I since I skipped it, I don't get another pick, right? So I can just skip the draft completely. I think. Rosters. Now let's put Cole Hamels on the. Oh, secondary's full. Just shop him. See if we can get an offer for him. Someone who's younger that I don't have to have on the roster. If not, I'll just wave him. Not a big deal. All right. Wave and designate. Wave and designate. Wave and designate. All right. There we go. Those are all, those are guys that I'm just gonna get rid of. I don't need them. I'm gonna I'm gonna get better players than them. Personal message. All right. So Milwaukee's claim Joey Rickard. All right. So there's bare claims for the guys we just got rid of, which is fine. Um, I'm not gonna go through and I wasn't gonna go through and try and get stuff for them because I probably wasn't going to get offered anything anyways. But we'll just let them get claimed. Not a big deal. All right, so Wilmer Flores signed. Let's go. Wilmer Flores, solid player. Amber Drosian signed. Franco signed. Semyon signed. And we got a trade proposal for Jesse Chavez, which we're not going to do, even though I don't really need Rio, Ru Rio Ruiz. 70 mil for smoke? God damn. Nats are going crazy. All right. We're going to bring up Semyon. We're going to bring up Flores. And I guess it, what, did it autumn? Yeah, it did put them. Overview. Brendan McKay's actually looking all right. And this guy is looking pretty good. It's nice. Bring Franco. Oh, secondary's full again. So we'll leave Brendan McKay. He's going straight. Yeah, I guess I can't take him off the second. Demote. Wave and designate. Designate. We'll get rid of Chris Lee. Well, we'll wave him. If they get through, I'll keep him around, but if not, whatever. Got better players than that. Franco and Bedrosian. 
Right. So now let's quit. So Richie Martin at short, Dwight Smith Jr. Why isn't it playing? Where did he go? Still in DFA? Marcus Semien. I mean, why is it? Really just going to sit him on the bench? It really thinks Richie Mart. I mean, like he is pretty good, but he's no, he's got to, he's got to go down. There we go. Now it's got Marcus Semien batting. We got okay composition, not really great, but whatever. That's fine. And I think that was all the signings, except for pitchers. Just go to our pitching. And yeah, so we got Joey Lucheski, Cole Hamels, John Means, Miguel Castro, Hunter Harvey. So we definitely still need to spend some money on our pitching. Go to starting pitchers. So... And try and get Mad Bum still. He's his ask is way down. Want so AJ Cole wants more dollars. So I'll just leave that. That's already. I think Mad Bum and Cole will both sign. I think they're just. I don't think they're going to get offered anything better. Claims are executed. Whatever. Cassianos to the Mets. Tex Texas signed Donaldson. Okay. That's not going to happen in real life. Donaldson hates that fucking place so much. Then we stalk us to uh, Philly. Just want to see if Mad Bum signs, and then I'm going to end the video after uh, we get a decision on Mad Bum. I just don't want to make the video too long. It's already at 27 minutes. But I do want to get through a big chunk of the offseason at least. Team owner changes. Peter Angelos died. Well, that's sad. Now he's got new uh, new goals. His son's got new goals. Play close to 500 ball. Improve your, improve your team runs against. Acquire top player. Increase attendance. So it's basically the same goals. Uh, and then we got the funeral to go to. Which is pretty sad. Uh, big F in the chat for... Uh, Peter Angelos. That is that is that is really sad. I feel bad now. At least we got a new owner. We got his son. Hopefully he's gonna give us more money. So here we go. Um AJ Cole signed with Chicago. Alright, time to get some pitching. Let's see. Abum still wants more. Fine. We're going to offer a one-year deal to Keiko. Meet demand. And I withdraw. Where do I withdraw? Withdraw. Addison Bumgarner. Back. Let's grab. We'll grab uh, Clay Buttholes. Rip Tyler Skaggs. Maybe we'll grab Tyler Skaggs because he's only 28. And... Um, Fortunately, passed away this year. But he's still in the game, so let's use him. Hopefully we get... We get, um... Michael and Skaggs. Oh, Tyler Skaggs signed with Chicago. So the Cubs are stealing absolutely everybody from me. Go back, and I'll just offer for play buttholes. He only wants like three million, anyways. And then we got a little bit of money saved up. Got more money for free agents if we need to add someone. But I don't want to go spend crazy. We want to keep a tight budget here and make sure we have room for when we want to go for the big ad. We can go for the big ad. Not gonna accept that. Keep going. Likes the look of our offer. 
good. Here we go. We got Dallas Keuchel. That's a good signing. I'm really happy we did that. It's going to really help out our rotation. And we'll just keep going. So there we go. And we got Clay Butthold. And Madison Baumgartner went back to San Fran. That's all right. Jeter honored by first ballot Hall of Fame. Kurt Schilling got inducted to the Hall of Fame. And Barry Bonds. I, I actually did plan to vote for Barry Bonds, but I forgot. All right. That's looking pretty good. Oh. Got clay buttholes. Oh, got to get rid of someone. Um. Get rid of this guy. We'll even designate. There we go. We did all, all of our signings. Go to the uh, team home screen here. Oh, where's the transaction lock? Can I just see it for just me? Yeah, here we go. So we signed free agent Clay Butchels to a one year, 3.8 million deal. Dallas Keuchel. Um, where are we? Back a month. Signed Wilmer Flores, signed Cam Drosian, signed Michael Franco, signed Marcus Semien, signed... Oh, we already did have Wil Wilmer Flores, but yeah. So we... That's pretty good. I like the way our team is shaping up to be. We'll just take a look at our starters. We got Lucheski, we got Dallas Keuchel, Hamels, Buttholes, and Zach Lother. That's not bad. Lineup-wise... Go through here. We got DJ Smith Jr., who was okay for us last year. Cedric Mullins, who was really good for us. He was Neil Diaz, a young guy, but he looks pretty good. He's got a good bat, decent defense. Austin Hayes as a DH. Uh, maybe we'll get a DH in the next video. Um, Franco, I mean, he's not great, but he's not horrible either. Uh, Cisco, really good for us last year. Hopefully, he keeps it up. Same with Lourdes. Uh, new first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Solid first baseman and should be good for this year. And then we'll bring up. Uh, Brendan McKay next year. And then Marcus Semyon at short, who's underrated, in my opinion. I think he'll be a good ad for us. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description to links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below, and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.